Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Map program. In today's episode, we will discuss about land degradation. This is a topic of environment. First of all, we will discuss about the introduction of the topic. Then we will discuss about the causes of land degradation, its impacts, measures taken by India to curb land degradation and lastly way forward. First of all, let's discuss about the introduction of land degradation. According to the UNCCD, land degradation refers to the loss of biological or economic productivity of land resulting from land uses or from a combination of factors including human activities. Land degradation is the result of human induced actions which exploit land causing its utility, biodiversity, soil fertility and overall health to decline. Land degradation within dry land regions that is arid, semi-arid and dry sub-humid regions is termed as desertification. Desertification is the process by which the biological productivity of dry lands is reduced due to natural or man-made factors. It does not mean the expansion of existing deserts. Now let's discuss about causes of land degradation. First is loss of soil cover. Loss of soil cover mainly due to rainfall and surface runoff is one of the biggest reasons for desertification. It is responsible for 11.01% of the desertification in the country. Cutting forests adversely affect the soil and cause degradation. As urbanization increases, the demand for resources is also increasing. Second is vegetation degradation. Vegetation degradation is defined as the temporary or permanent reduction in the density, structure, species composition or productivity of vegetation cover. It is found to be responsible for 9.15% of desertification in the country. Third is water erosion. It results in badland topography which itself is an initial stage of desertification. Badlands are a type of dry terrain where softer sedimentary rocks and clay-rich soils have been extensively eroded. In 2011-13, water erosion was responsible for 10.98% of desertification in the country. Fourth is wind erosion. Sand encroachment by wind reduces fertility of the soil, making the land susceptible to desertification. It was found to be responsible for 5.46% of the desertification in India and climate change. It may exacerbate desertification through alteration of spatial and temporal patterns in temperature, rainfall, solar radiation and winds. Now let's have a look at impacts of land degradation. First is economic impact. Land degradation threatens agricultural productivity. It reduces soil health thus in turn impacting the livelihood of rural people. Second is climate change. It is exacerbating climate change events which in turn are causing even greater degradation. For example, degraded land loses its capacity to absorb carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that is the biggest factor in worsening global warming. Third is water scarcity. Land degradation has resulted in a Deterioration in the quantity and quality of both surface and groundwater resources. The dry land population vulnerable to water stress and drought intensity is projected to reach 178 million under the most ideal conditions of 1.5 degree Celsius warming by 2050. And rights of indigenous people. Insecure land tenure affects the ability of people and communities to fight climate change which is further endangered by land degradation. Now lastly, let's discuss about the measures taken by India to curb land degradation. First is Integrated Watershed Management Program. It aims to restore ecological balance by harnessing, conserving and developing degraded natural resources with the creation of rural employment. Now it is subsumed under Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana which is being implemented by Niti Aayog. Second is Desert Development Program. It was launched in 1995 to minimize the adverse effect of drought and to regenerate the natural resource base of the identified desert areas. 
इट वॉज लॉन्च फॉर हॉट डेजर्ट एरियाज ऑफ राजस्थान गुजरात हरियाणा एंड कोल्ड डेजर्ट एरियाज ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश थर्ड इज यूनाइटेड नेशन कन्वेंशन टू कॉम्बैट डेजर्टिफिकेशन दैट इज यू एन सी सी जी इंडिया बिकेम अ सिग्नेचरी टू द यू एन सी सी जी इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर एंड रेटिफाइड इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी सिक्स इंडिया इज वर्किंग टू रिस्टोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ डिग्रेडेड लैंड बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी इंडिया इज वर्किंग हार्ड टू अचीव इट्स नेशनल कमिटमेंट ऑन लैंड डिग्रेडेशन न्यूट्रैलिटी सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल टारगेट LDN is a state whereby the amount and quality of land resources necessary to support ecosystem functions and services and enhance food security remains stable or increases within specified temporal and spatial scales and ecosystem fourth is national afforestation program it has been implemented since 2000 for the afforestation of degraded forest lands it is being implemented by the ministry of environment forest and climate change National Action Program to Combat Desertification It was prepared in 2001 to address issues of increasing desertification and to take appropriate actions and National Mission on Green India It was approved in 2014 with the objective of protecting restoring and enhancing India's diminishing forest cover with a deadline of 10 years Now lastly moving on to way forwards first is afforestation Forest degradation accounts for the major share of land degradation cost of India highlighting the need to prevent forest degradation using alternative fuels a major focus for reducing forest degradation is encouraging rural households dependent on forest to switch to alternative fuel sources or at the minimum utilize fuel efficient devices preventing overgrazing farmers should be discouraged from overgrazing activities they must be made aware of the harm of overgrazing to land productivity and sustainable agriculture climate resistant crops need to be developed and used efforts must be made to make farmers aware of overuse of chemical fertilizers now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims based question consider the following statements regarding the land and soil resources One rapid increase in human population has placed a great strain on the land and soil resources resulting in land degradation and soil erosion. Two, soil is the uppermost layer of the earth's crust which can be dug or plowed and in which plants grow. Three, land is a solid substratum which supports human and many other organisms. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, one and two, two and three or all of the above? You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now mains practice question: What is land degradation? What are the most common factors that lead to land degradation? How does land degradation affect the livelihood prospects of the poor? Discuss. So we hope this analysis will be beneficial for you. Thanks for watching. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications